Today was about rehearsing for a crisis event. No organisation wants to be involved in a crisis, but practising so that you have the skills and confidence to succeed if the worst does happen is crucial. We had a scenario that uh, there is a crisis at the entrance of Jabal Ali port. Jabal Ali port being the flagship of TP World is very important. So any minor accident or a major accident will be uh, somehow reacted uh, very quickly in terms of response. We have three fatalities, four serious injuries, four serious, yeah. and 16 unaccounted for. Why are we shutting the whole of the gates down? Let's continue delivering from the terminal, from the rest of the terminal. So in the back room of the crisis simulation, we have a number of role players who play the roles of lots of different audiences, including journalists, and they provide the inputs into the crisis room uh, to drive the crisis forward, um, gain momentum, and really put the crisis team under a challenge. Hello, Soren Toft here from Merck. Yes, I've heard about this incident. Terrible. Okay, are you going to be able to put somebody up for interviews? Uh, Tristan. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Yep, they held a disclosure panel meeting and they're sending out a reg announcement to stop stop the share price dropping. We have ceased operations in Terminal 1 and Terminal 2, including the yard activities and the gates activities. I think today we had a very exciting, I think very interesting day, mainly because we have our policies, procedures, and we think we have read them. We think we know how we're going to be acting when a situation arises. I think today's uh, workshop gave us and uh, opened our eyes whether we are capable or not. You need to organize a commercial team one to deal with the shipping lines who are coming from Far East. I will, I will take care of it. I will take care of it. The teams did brilliantly. Um, they both focused on the people side, which is always critical in a crisis. Care for people is much more important to the outside world than how your business is doing. They also showed great decision-making skills and planning for, my, for what might happen subsequently, not just reacting to events. So they did great. No, I'm not saying that at this moment I believe that you should give us some time to assess and revert back to you. Can we tell them again for another two hours? Uh, all the people uh, have been saved from, uh, from the vessel. These activities are extremely important because uh, we obviously we, we hope that we are never faced with a, with a crisis of this magnitude. However, we need to be prepared. We uh, we need to make sure that all our processes, our systems, our resources, everything is in place so that we can react and respond, not just to manage the crisis, but also to communicate effectively with all the uh, affected parties during the crisis. I enjoyed every single second while I was doing this, honestly. I mean, it was, uh, I would say, one of the best exercises I ever attended. Crisis management is essential. No one wants to have to apply crisis management skills, but if you get it wrong, the damage to your reputation and your business can be enormous. So doing exercises like this is the only way to be sure that you are well prepared if the worst should happen.